I'm J.R. Church. Welcome to today's webcast. Believe it or not, in a chilling speech to Russian defense experts this week, Prime Minister Putin ordered the buildup of strategic weapons in Russia and warned that the growing threat of the expansion of American communism is endangering the entire world and bringing the motherland of Russia closer to war than at any time since the 1962 Cuban Missile Crisis. Did you hear that right? He said that Russia must prepare for war. Russia warns U.S. communist threat endangering the entire world. And this was written by Sorcha Fa'al, reported to her Western subscribers. Putin had previously warned, she said, the United States against its planned adoption of communism during his January 2009 speech to the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, upon Obama taking office, and had stated, quote, the concentration of surplus assets, that is United States assets, in the hands of the state is a negative aspect of anti-crisis measures in virtually every nation. In the 20th century, the Soviet Union made the state's role absolute. In the long run, this made the Soviet economy totally uncompetitive, he said. This lesson cost us dearly. I'm sure nobody wants to see it repeated. Isn't that amazing? Here's the leader of Russia accusing the United States of becoming a communist nation. Unfortunately, uh, Socha Fa'al writes, though Obama and those communist forces backing him do want to see this monster of a system repeated and have in the past year have accelerated the United States' descent into the abyss of total state control over all aspects of American lives and have created one of the most all-encompassing surveillance societies our world has ever seen. So dire has the situation become in the United States that one of the most dissident lawmakers, U.S. Congressman Ron Paul, took to the floor of their House of Representatives last week and warned that Obama's forces were now openly stating that they have the power to assassinate any American citizen they deem to be a terrorist threat against them. Yeah, you're hearing it right. This comes out of Russia. This is a news article out of Russia talking about our nation going communist. And, she writes, not just for the, from the right are these warnings against Obama coming, but also from their furthest left-wing ones, as the powerful black Muslim leader and Obama ally, Louis Farrakhan, of Chicago's Nation of Islam, warned his followers this week that America is facing, quote, imminent disaster, end quote, and they all must start preparing for the worst. Obama, however, has not chosen to listen to these warnings and this past week accelerated his communist takeover of America by appointing the powerful head of the Service Employees International Union, SEIU, and avowed communist Andy Stern to the top U.S. commission to oversee its economy. Though most Americans have never heard of Stern, it was recently discovered that he has been Obama's top visitor to the White House and is described as the president's right-hand man. But what should strike fear into all of them, that is Americans, this Russian writes, is Stern's calling for the workers of the world to unite and destroy the United States and to remake it as a communist nation. To Obama's planning, remaking of America into a communist state, Stern has further warned that if the powers of persuasion doesn't work, the persuasion of power will. That comes from the mouth of Andy Stern himself. Uh, not being understood by the American people, says this former communist, is that their economic collapse has long been planned by their communist elite leaders who know that the success of their takeover of the United States lays in its destruction from what their new people's utopian paradise will arise from its ashes. 
And to how successful the communists have been in destroying America, there remains no doubt. As since upon Obama's taking office, and for the first time in the history of the United States, most of their citizens are working for their government than in either of their manufacturing construction industries, and when combined with the 22% of their unemployed, means that over 40% of Americans are now beholding upon their communist leaders for economic support and are dependent upon the other 60% of their citizens to support them is what is in what is the largest transfer of wealth in U.S. history. Worse still for those 60% of Americans desperately trying to keep from becoming wards of their new communist government are the plans to throw millions of them from their homes by bankrupting them with catastrophic tax increases and making them dependent too, as we had previously reported in our February 16th report, quote, Obama plot to throw millions of Americans from homes uncovered, end of quote. Please understand, this news piece is coming out of Russia. This is not some right-wing group writing this, okay? It's, 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 not, it's not the Republicans. It's not uh, the Libertarians. This is coming out of Russia. Interesting to note is that a CNN Opinion Research Corporation survey released this past Friday shows that 56% of Americans think their federal government has